Hello gang and welcome back to Ashburn Coast on a very rainy spring day here. Yes, I fast forwarded us through winter so we wouldn't get the blinding snow color. Um, and we're only just on the out the other side of it. Now I did try and play with the with the snow and the winter. It, it gets a bit too much. So all I did was, if you want to know how to do it, quite simply, when you bring up your little tab menu here and you, you hit simulation, come down to time and you can advance time by one hour, 12 hours, or six days. Now, I advanced by just a couple of times on 12 hours, which got me through most of um, winter, just into the beginning of spring, right? So here we are in spring. It's a rainy day. I could get rid of the rain as well. I'm not going to worry. It'll probably go away itself. What we're going to work on today, gang, is a couple of things. Now, we're not going to put a hospital in quite yet because, firstly, we don't have the population to warrant having a major hospital. And just to, so you're aware... Major hospitals are about $225,000 to $515,000 a month. That would absolutely rinse our budget, okay? So, yes, unreliable health care is an issue, but we're going to have to just try and mitigate that with using medical clinics and health centers across the across the way. And we can do that by increasing and putting extension wings on, on, uh, on stuff and increasing the amount of patient care we can get. Simply put, we can actually take this um, over here. Now, there's, there's zero out of 10, like, vehicles in use here. So it's not like healthcare is a major issue at the moment, to be honest. One thing I do want to do is I want to start putting the upgrades on here. We've got, like, a temple. We've got a um, colobarium and a molosseum, uh, which are going to fit down into here nicely. Now, if you don't know, we've got... You see this whole blue ringed area that goes around it? We can actually put these anywhere in this area we like. So I've actually got a nice little area up in here earmarked for all of that stuff. I'm not going to go ahead and put it in yet, but it is something that I've got earmarked planned for the future. So today what we want to do is continue on with our build here. I also want to get in a cargo train station starting to feed our industrial area because, and I'll show you why, we are producing... And if we look at the material goods, we're producing a lot of stuff here that we can be exporting and selling. Vice versa, we could be importing stuff and exporting more stuff. So we, we want to get that up and going. Uh, and why do we want to get that up and going down here? Uh, because eventually we're going to be earmarking and putting in a port, a, a shipping port here, which has train connectivity to our industrial area and to outside connections as well, right? So... This is probably here or here. Don't know which one I'm going to use yet, whether it's this one or this one for our port. But uh, either way, we're going to be able to um, plug straight into the train um, line. But the train line here is going to have to get up over here because this is kind of where I want to put. We have a look at this. Cargo terminal. You can see how quite big it is how big it is i want to set this in here so we're going to need to do some grading today we're going to need to run a train line down through here connect it up probably probably split off about here and head over the top of the motorway past our uh, geothermal plant and up into the into the station there and then we can get connections uh, outbound um, to other towns now we probably need to i don't know we probably need to be able to get a connection out this way too kind of sucks that i can only get it up that way and then i'd have to try and figure out a way to get it in and around that way also maybe i can come off over here and, and join up but yeah this motorway section we put in last time out while i love it it's probably in the wrong way and we probably needed to raise the actual freeway or the highway to be then putting in the trains underneath but we'll get to that later first of all what we want to do today is uh to break up the monotony of this downtown and look this is all going to go as we progressively move and shift this way this will delete and will be rebuilt as well but down here i'm going to be deleting all this out today and we're going to be rebuilding it because we're actually going to be putting in our college right so the college is going to be sitting in here now the upkeep for this is not as much as uh, as as basically a hospital and stuff um, university on the other hand is is a lot more the university I've got earmarked for a section all out here. This is going to be the whole facility and whole area. So this downtown coastal section will run in, 
like the main road will run behind up here and connect into these roads. Uh, we are going to run a train line that goes up down into here because this peninsula section here is going to be a mega city uh, down here. Like a nice big ci urban city complex, high rises, that sort of stuff. This here is not going to be so much high rises. It's going to be this lower density, um, med lower to medium density buildings down here. All right. So you get this nice coastal thing into a nice big university complex, big open spaces. It then uh, has a train station there as well. The train station then continues on into downtown before heading back out as well. Okay. So that's the plans going forward. That's going to help us get stuff situated and moving forward. Right at the moment, though, now, I'm going to move this dog park. Uh, the dog, doggy park, you know what? You can have a dog park there. Why not? Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna delete all this out. In fact, we're just going to take this with an absolute hammer because it's all wrong, right? It's just it's all going to go, all going to go. I know we've got post boxes there. Not really worried. That main road might stay. That's going to go. That's going to go. We basically, what we've got going on here is we've got like these major, I guess you would call them arterial roads, wouldn't you? Because they are major roads that sort of feed our suburbs and stuff. And then we use the smaller roads, if you think of it that way, to connect everything up. So this road here, I'm actually going to get you to come straight through. Take that off, take that off. Uh, yeah, take that off, take that off. You're going to come straight through here now. And I need you at 90 degrees. Like that. Right. That's that. Now, here's what I'm thinking. Because we have this football stadium just here, I thought this might be really good for a college complex. Now, we are making all right money. However, putting in a college is going to hurt the budget just a little bit. But I thought this might be really good for a college campus. So, for our college campus, I think what we're going to need is, because we've got a bus station here it probably will need a bus station helps feed all of this i get it that bus station's kind of in the wrong spot i'm gonna need to move it how many lines do i have coming in there two or three i think two or three how busy is it oh it's it's packed Eek. we might need to put more buses on there uh what i'm gonna do i'm gonna actually purchase a little bit more land so because we have this, you can see the height um, difference up here compared to down here. We're actually going to have this section here. It's probably not going to have too much built into it. If it does, it'll be graded. Then we're going to have another sort of suburban area up the top here. And then we've got a tourist attraction over here in the terms of our medieval castle. We can do tourist stuff too. But the plans was to have um, some residential stuff up the top on this plane up here. Probably leave some green space in between on the hill. And just work our way up. So maybe it's best not to buy that today. I'm going to buy... I'm going to buy those two anyway. Right? They're not going to hurt us too much in terms of money. But it's just going to help me be able to figure out. Because we have to get up there. How we're going to grade a, um, a hill up there for our road to get up. So if we want to get to there. And we're going from here. See what I mean? Same with this one, if we want to get to there from here. Now, yes, this is this this section here, like I said, is all going to change because it's literally just working as a battery hand at the moment, I'm aware. Um, you probably need to buy that square too. Yep. Yep, you're going to, you're going to, you're going to, you're going to, mate, you're going to. The college sitting up on top. Do you think the college would be better above over the football field? No, I kind of... This is. I want it down in here to break up the, the buildings, right? You can just... Otherwise, you can just have too much building going on, which doesn't look realistic. It does, but it doesn't. You need to break it up with, systematically with roads and with other major facilities that would be there. All right. Back to what we're doing. You probably... Take that road to there. Is that a major road? It's a major road. Oh, it's it's a medium road anyway, is it? No, it's a it's a regular. It's a regular road. Okay. 
take this road up here. It doesn't have to be on a perfect angle. I don't need it to be on a perfect angle. That is a medium road. Hmm, right. And then the premise was to have a, uh, basically, when you get to the top here, like, it needs to be like that. Right? That's kind of how that needs to be over the top there. And then in this, we've got a bit of green space. Potentially something else might go in there. The more I look at it, the more I want the college up here in that space because then it gives rhyme and reason as to why you would have something there. Also helps with our bus station. Um, look, just so you're aware, down here is where I kind of want my big hospital area. Right next to the motorway, close to everything. That's kind of where I've got earmarked for the emergency hospital death care sort of um, situation down in that big zone there. Uh, I really did want that there, but it, it, the more I look at this, the more it makes sense to put the college up here. Then I can get another suburb. I'm going to need to buy this section, aren't I? I'm just going to go ahead and purchase those ones <laughs> and just be done with it because maybe I need to start planning in my next suburban areas up here as well just because we've got a lot of um, low density that wants to be built up here. So keep our... And this is making me kind of really want to get a six-lane road up here. I'm not going to. I'm actually going to upgrade that road to have laneway because what, what I'm actually going to do in the future, I'm actually going to have this set Uh, to have tram lines. So I'm going to do this now. I'm going to get this done now. I'm going to bite the bullet. Do it. Um, how far do you want to come with that? Just come to there for me. But I'm just going to feed that road straight into here. In fact, I'm going to have it come in like this. And I'm just going to get a nice little curve. that okay there's a bit of a bit of a hogwash just there that's really hogwashy how about we take this grading and we say hey buddy i want to get to here from here can you make that happen for me a little bit nicer and the game goes okay sure right and that uh that becomes a bit of a nicer section just there right now, um, yeah, yeah, that's that's going to make me much, much happier. So, to put this college in here, there's a bit of a dip in there. Um, I'm going to leave the fire brigade there, and we've got the bus station here and a post office. The post office could kind of be moved a little bit. Post office is in a really bad spot. There's a lot of trees and stuff you need to fix up there too, Ham. Yeah, not really worried about that at the moment. Unreliable healthcare coverage. People really want more healthcare. Just not going to worry at the moment. We're, we're moving and shifting in, in an okay direction. I'm just not going to upset the apple cart just yet. So, um, let's say we're going to go. Yeah, with our college. Right. Now, we're going to need a, a way to get from here up to here. So, I'm going to take all this land for the college. Yes, I, I know I'm doing a lot of grading, but that's what we have to do for this college. Um, then I'm going to actually just reduce the size of that. Take that. Give me that height and put that to there. Same with there. Give me that height. Um, give me a little, little bit more thickness, please. And then from that height, I uh, know you probably want to just go there. Okay, cool. So let's get these roads in now and get this all sort of worked out. 
Now, I did find myself a nice sort of flat bit just here to come off, dive off there. So that's going to be our main road just there off that. I probably should have done that a lot better. You probably should have. Uh, we're going to go off that one, are we? Sure. Like that. Brilliant. And then that's a major road. Are we going to finish it? Or are we going to keep it medium? I'm going to keep it medium through there. I'm going to leave that like that. Okay. In here, I don't know. We've got... We've, I, I do like the idea of just keeping some natural green space as a barrier between sections. But either way, we can now go ahead and put in our college. Which we're going to put in. We're going to have it sit. Now, what are some of the buildings we've got with this college? We've got the library and we've just got the extension wings. Okay, so the library we can probably put... I'm thinking with this college, I'm just going to sit it up there for the moment. I'm going to give it a nice sort of ring road here, feeding off these major roads. Like that. Then I'm going to move you back so you sit on there nicely, nice and centralized, uh, and then we can feed the road further around. Right, like that. Like that. Um, potentially, we could be putting a, another car park in down here, which means our library might situate here and a car park out over this way. Do I want to have a road connection there? I don't because that road is heading up and I don't want to mess with that. So I'm literally just going to put you back down there. I'm going to have you go up that way. And I might be able to put in some campus... Uh, basically like some low residential. I'm not going to put that there. Where would your library go if you put it in? Well, quite simply put right there. <sighs> I'm going to leave the library for the moment, but let's just note that it's another two squares out. That way. And that way. That's basically the library connection just there. Or it should be anyway. Oh, you're kidding. I could just move it over, but I just want to grate back the land just a touch to get what I want here. Now, it should be more like that. Is that the library? Okay, here's what we're going to do. Can I actually get my road tool? Get that. No, I can't. Um, you're a bugger. You're an absolute bugger on toast. <laughs> Why would you do that to me, game? So. You come to there. Without having to put it in, I'm just going to put you up to there. That should be enough, I would think. I just wanted to, to fit in. Yeah, that's enough. That's perfect. Okay, we got there. That's how. That's our library section just there. And also, if we want to, we want to talk about library sections being in. I could probably then. Now I think you're going to ruin things by doing that, but. We might just see if that still fits it in. And it does perfectly. Right. And the reason why I want to do this, okay, I know this will make sense shortly, is because I want to get some apartment blocks built in and around um, the campus. Right. It'll make sense here shortly. And I want to get, um, I'm going to have a car park situated in here. Maybe something like, that right but pr 
probably take it off all of that because that's not helping me. That's what I want there. Cool. So I want those looking like they're connected. Little bit twisty. And that's got that looking much better. Then I can get another ring road in and around. Right. Okay. And quite simply, can we get one straight through there, please? Yes, we can. Right, so we've got ourselves an established area now where we know that this is going to be the library. We've got some areas where we can put some apartment buildings around the college. Um, and basically, we're going to need to get a bus stop up in... Well, we've got the bus station just here. Right now, I'm thinking the bus station really needs to move. To be up in here. Like that. That's how the bus station is now going to go. <laughs> That's kind of perfect. That's kind of actually really perfect. Post office wise, we want to keep the post office pretty much close to the campus. Nice. And then we've got our football field. We've got that. And then up here, because this is cut in here, I'm going to have to do this. I don't know. I don't like to do a lot of this sort of grading and stuff area, like stuff that we're doing here, but what I'm simply going to do, I might need to pump the strength of that up to get what I want here. I'm just going to push it back ever so slightly. And then we're just going to take that down a bit. I'm just going to do that, okay, all through there. All right, just to smooth that off. It's not the best, but it's something. All right, then when the buildings are in, I could probably do a little bit more just to fix that up. All right. all that up and then we've got the fire station just here which is fine we've got a medical center there so this whole little community down here is looking a lot better already all right how is that hurting us money wise no actually pretty good we can go and start to earmark in down in, in our new section here probably some more buildings but we're going to put in some more centralized park stuff to just break up like this complex down here has turned out a one amazing and i'm really happy with it Especially with that park in the middle and there's paths that lead all through it. I'm really happy with that. The college-wise, I'll show you what I wanted to do up here now. We want to get the low-rent housing because these are... Um, wow. You think of it like a canvas. If the college needs to be able to... I don't like that. So we're going to put in some paths here. path like that and a path like this can i not have you snap to the side of the building thanks all right paths like that because i don't want ridiculously huge buildings either uh yeah just two tier buildings there is fine and that can stay that i might put some shops and stuff on the corner there which is also just equally as good i might go ahead and put another back street up here before we dive into our next selection, I'd like to take a few memento moments to right. elaborate on the formal structure. It's a little bit wonk. I'm not gonna lie. It's a lot wonk. First, we will be dancing through the al dente section. It's the still a bit wonk because that's on a hill. Yeah, that's terrible. If you're gonna like grade an area, grade the area. <laughs> you know what I mean? If you're gonna have it all flat. Have it all flat. You can have a little bit of carve-out section. Like, there are naturally some sort of mountainous 
uh, and cliffside bits like in australia oh my gosh in australia here we've got plenty of them you know like cliff sides stuff built next to cliff sides and so on right are you happy with that no not happy with the way you treated that then because you've probably got that turned on no it's not actually is it you know what it's fine because i'm going to be doing this anyway we're going to be running a path down the back side of it anyway i might even put some uh homes in it i don't know yet and we're literally just going to go wash wash that should marry up with that path probably should yeah that's my that makes me feel better about that um okay so how do we feel about the rest of it pretty good does the library is that going to have a section there yeah yeah you know what i kind of want to have that finished on that corner and i kind of want to have this road is going to be doing something to head up that way or potentially straight over that way so let's go ahead and say okay do we want the road to marry up to here from there That's where that's going to connect. So we're going to get a connection uh, basically to there. And here. And because it's just a regular old road. Uh, now what happened to... <laughs> Game! You might need to clear out just a little bit more grading area just there. Okay, so here's our area here. Just give me a little bit more turn, and that way I can then um, I can then do what I need to do. So we're going to about there. Yeah, lovely. All right, so that's road that road through there. Which means I can then probably, we might actually be able to get some cool stuff here, in here like this. So just give me that for a sec. You know, we've got like this section just here for maybe a park, maybe something like that. Let's take that down to there. You know, you probably could just take that. that for us try that again yeah nice okay just like that nice and it just starts to work our way up the hill in a natural in a natural slash man-made way i want to say right what about these buildings? Yeah, yeah, get these buildings in. All right, more of these here, please. All right, hit play. That's kind of a big building you've got going on there. Are you okay with that? I don't know. That's the height of them. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. That'll be okay. Think of them like, um, well, they're low rent. We're going to need some medium rents as well. Maybe we can put some of these ones back here. Uh, now you're not happy with that because you're not connected there. Really don't like how a game does that. Think of it like we're basically putting in our own, and I'm going to do some with shops here. Because we've got the bus station just here, can I have both NA and EU please? Once again, you've done that. I'm not opposed to it. I'm just not the biggest fan of it. I want to put in some shop kind of buildings, maybe along the front here potentially, because we might actually be able to link all this stuff here. I don't. I want to leave the front of the campus the way it is. I'll leave the front of the campus how it is. That's totally fine. And you're probably going to need more buses up here are you eventually
Yeah, maybe I'll put these buildings along here. They're quite big buildings, that's all. And I kind of want to leave the campus the way it is, just the campus. Okay, we'll just do that then. So get me some more mediums in. And once again, you're doing the thing here where you want a path. Why? Because you're painful. You're going to want a big building there, aren't you? Or nothing. Big or nothing. Big or nothing. Let's go medium. There. And then let's go... I want to get some, like, row housing here. Is that a connection there? That is a connection there. I'm going to put some row housing here. We could think of it like... Maybe the staff uh, in some of those buildings out near the library. Same again, just here. Right, and they can back onto these ones. Maybe these would be like student accommodation as well. Even though they kind of look fancy, but because they've got the paths between them, I think it, it does really lend itself to make sense. that it could potentially look like student accommodation. Especially with the um, the paths that are running between them. And then potentially more shops and stuff. So maybe some low-density business stuff just here, like out the back where we've got you no know, cafeterias, that sort of stuff going on, right? And I do want a path that goes between them just here. Makes sense. A path in there would be really good. Like snuck, sneak one right there. Snuck it? Yeah, snuck it. Snuck it there. Let's see if we can sneak it just here. Oh, we are so sneaky. <laughs> I love it. I love it. All right. <laughs> Let's get some more get some more building stuff yeah i want to put i want to put a higher a sort of a higher one there and the reason why i want to do that i want to have like potentially you might have on site on on, on campus electronics okay um how do we feel about that i'm okay with this i'm okay with this college will sit in there like i mean the library will sit in there and you know what i'm gonna go ahead and, and because i'm keen on it i really want to put the library in now which way can we face the library that way yeah i want to put the library in now <laughs> i really do if anything we probably should have put more european buildings up at this build but i'm okay with mixing up the building style for it and this campus is just i think we just fast forward now and we just see what it comes up like and we get some trees involved so while we hit the turbos here let's get some trees involved with it uh, now I'm going to go ahead and delete the trees that are here. Get in what we want. Do I want to move that? I want to leave the the post office is a bit of a pimple on a pumpkin, isn't it? Post office um, up in that back corner. See, it fits right there in that little shopping complex section, right where the bus station is. Car park's getting utilised. That's really good. Okay. Uh, also, let's get in our... We do have the ability to put some parks and stuff in. Am I going to? Oh, I tell you what, does that... Shame that doesn't fit in there. We don't need to get that. Get our trees in here, please. So we're going to go in a row. Uh, that, please. Game. In a row. Randomized. Let's bring you down to maybe like nine. Let's have you mature. And let's go like this. Maybe a little bit more gap. Say 13. Nice. Yeah, I think that's good. Same at the back here. It's just going to help with the... Um, you know, the, the parameters of the college itself. Not making it super perfect, just making it semi-perfect. All right, give me a couple of Oki boys. I don't want that 
brushed it. Yeah, I want that and the oak. All right, I like the oak, so I like to just place them in a semi big coverage sort of area. Now, I haven't given much parkland to this campus. I'm well aware of that, but I don't want to because it is a very urban downtown campus, but you can think there might be a bit of green space just here. That should probably have a road connection. So I'm going to go ahead and give it one after I just fix up the leveling here. Because I clearly didn't finish that. No, you little hogwashers. No, you were perfect. Oh, they were perfect too. All right, what is it? It's EU residential mix. I'm going to fix this because I really love those two on the corner there. <sighs> I really liked how they were on the corner like that. Yeah, yeah. the only way I think I can do it is by telling you, hey, it's not going to work. Um, I mean, you can get that. That's disappointing me. That's really disappointing me. But it is what it is. EU mixed. Oh, it just has to be what it has to be. There and there. Okay. That's kind of disappointing. But it is what it is. All right, and that's our... Oh, look at our little... Our little, like, um, out the back here. Our row housing, which you would think of, like, as in the... Um, as in the... That's, that building's a little bit big, but okay. Whatever. We'll just leave it. It's a little big. What is it? It's a medium... No, this one here. Low residential. It's a little big. I'm not going to lie. But these two here are perfect. They suit the... Think about it. It's low. It's low rent accommodation for people that go to college. Okay. So leave it. Oh, I'm going to leave it because you're getting mad at me. Getting mad at you for a reason, buddy. Uh, okay. Okay. Take that down to there. Just wallop in a heap of these, please. Up and around the back here. Zoom out so people don't get sick. All right. And just put in a heap of that there. All right, cool. That's our college done and dusted. The college now looks out over the top of our um, section just there. Perfect. All right, I, that was going to go down in here to break up that, but I think we've got a main road here now, but... What I want to do down here, that road there doesn't make sense, by the way. Victoria Street? Victoria Street's kind of a bit weird, isn't it? It's, it's a bit weird. Can it come straight? Would that make Victoria Street okay? Yeah. Okay, so Victoria Street's just going to have to go like that. Down in here, what are you going to do? Uh, okay. What we need to do down here, we need to not, we need to break up the monotony of just square streets. So, to do this, we need to get in some, maybe plan this out to be like a very sort of unique suburb or, or um, planned area. That being said, we've got a nice round park here. So, I'm thinking something like, okay. Something like this. Okay, we'll, we'll come off Victoria Street. No, I want to come off the main road. No, Victoria Street. Victoria Street's fine. Come off Victoria Street. Okay, come off Victoria Street. Now, with Victoria Street... Actually, come to this side of Victoria Street. And come to that side of Victoria Street. Get rid of that one. And then we're simply going to try and do a U-turn at the top up here. Now, um, that means that... Okay, let's try that. I will need that and that. That's fine. Yep, 
Yeah, something like that. Yes. Is it a bit wonka vision? No, it's fine. Right, then these streets will plug into it. A bit like Victoria Street, how Victoria Street came straight straight on. In fact, actually, I'll take you straight there. So you just marry up the way you do, and you can come out to there. Uh, and then we'll get another one there. You're going to be a bit funny about that. Okay. We've got a bit of a funny wobbly section there. I'm not really going to worry about it. It's where we are on a hill. We've got to remember that. We are on a hill. Okay. Then what are you going to do? Well, quite simply put, we're going to do this. You are going to plug straight into there. And um, it's a shame that you don't plug into that one. You're going to come straight up to there. And you're going to come up to there. On a turn, I kind of like the arms doing what they're doing, to be honest. Wow. I did not know that was a thing. Or do I prefer you to just go straight ahead? Potentially, yep. I just prefer your arms to extend out this way. Do you want to get them all so they're straight? Yeah, I do. Turn that off for me. That's causing mayhem. Yep, that's better. That's better. Uh, it just causes mayhem having that turned on, so do the same here. Okay. Right. I will fix that. We will fix that so it doesn't do that. I'm going to leave the rest of it pretty much the way it is. And I'm going to leave this space up here like that. In fact... I once used to have a laneway up here that we deleted just not long ago. Am I going to leave it? I kind of want to leave it, to be honest. Because we get this really unique shape like that in here. Um, and why? Because I'm going to make this like a shopping precinct down in here. Ooh, okay. So how do you mean? Well, firstly, we're going to do something like this. Parks. Now, does that one fit in there? Ah, oh, bugger. Don't like how you don't. You will fit. But not how I want you to fit. Now that will fit. It begs the differ that I probably should have made that only too wide. What can you get down? Yeah, that's too much. That's not enough. That's... Yeah, it's going to have to be something like this. Right? Oh my gosh, that's horrible. Okay, how can we fix this so we can get a nice grade in here? Well, it's quite simple to put. We've got to put a nice grade in there. However, I don't think what you're going to get is you're not going to get very even car parks through there. It's just going to keep doing it. Unless your car parks go. Oh, bugger. This is really. Oh, this is really sort of <laughs> ruining my plans of what I wanted to do here. And can I get something shorter in there then? Maybe if I extend it by one. Okay, extend it by one or bring it in by two. Bring it in by two. Let me just put the let me just play with the car park section here. Trust me, this I I I think this will look pretty good when it's done. Alright, where's my single one? This one's here. But it, it wants to keep doing this, right? So this is the trouble we're we're facing. It wants to keep burying it in the ground. That's the trouble we're gonna face here with this car park. 
unless I use the move it tool, which I can't. Just sort of can. Right, you're going to get this horrible car park situation here. Can I just bring you down and bring you up to marry? I can just get these to marry up. It doesn't matter that car park might be a little bit wobbly woo here and there. As long as we can get pretty much something that looks representative of what we want. Sometimes you gotta free it, free. You gotta, you gotta run it free with your eyes. Sometimes you gotta run it free with your eyes. Really? Sometimes you gotta run free with the buffalo. <laughs> you quoting cows with guns? Yep, chickens with choppers. We will run free with the buffalo. I think that's kind of unique and good. Let's let's pl let's plug and play. Right here's our um, give me both. Here's our EU high density business, right? Business slash shop. So, Bosch, one there, one there, one there. I like using these ones, these squarer ones, right? The little like two by twos are brilliant for these because they don't um we play by the way because they don't they're not a huge footprint now i do want to have some offices in here as well now i don't know how big these ones are going to be so let's just have a look here that's a big building am i okay with that sure we'll put the offices at the back here ah uh, yeah, we're gonna have to just do that one there for me please they're t they're quite tall they're quite tall okay it doesn't matter now i want to put in 
these, the NA mixed housing, right? You get uh, uh, like these buildings here where it's apartments and shops underneath. And I love them. I think they're just brilliant looking buildings. However, I think the NA ones look better than the EU ones half the time. But the reason why I run mixed is to get just different variety of buildings. So let's get our, let's start with the NA and we're going to go like this. And then I'm going to mix it up. I'm going to go back to our high density business. And then I'm going to go back to that. Oh, really? That's how you're going to do that? Uh, yeah, that's slightly better. At least you're on the inside of that ring road, but whatever. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do more of that. You're wrong. Yeah, you're still wrong. Can you... Give me two, three... No... Yep, like that, then I guess. Why couldn't you just do a building like that? Whatever. Um, give me another building like that. And then go back to these. Low density and a business. I kind of don't want it. We're going to go EU, high density business. Sure, we're going to go like that. All right, we, we're starting to get this shopping precinct down pat. In betweenies here, I'm going to do this. This, this main road I've got here, I want to say, hey, I don't want you to have buildings on you. Down the front, like that. So I'm going to force the buildings to be on these streets here. And not, not on that either. Yeah, not on there. More like that. Definitely more like that. Same with this road. And then we get some lovely green spaces as well in between everything. So we can go ahead and plug in a lot more residential. I don't know why I had to say it like that. Why'd you have to say it like that? No. Yeah, but I did. Uh, I kind of want to fit some row housing in here. I don't know where the row housing might go though because we've got a lot of high rises around here. Row housing would probably be more suited up the back here. Even though you're all building on the wrong side, I'm going to sort you out shortly.
buddy. How are you not getting the game plan here? You've got to be kidding me. Okay, yeah, and then you're on that end. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Okay, that's great. It's great. Up here, I'm going to actually put some more row homes in it. Row, row homes in? Yeah, row homes. Uh, buddy, you're facing the wrong way. Ah, uh, there we go. Oh my gosh. Yeah, when you've got them on uh, two streets, you have to you have to try and figure out the way to get them to do what you want to do. Wow, this downtown shopping precinct. I hate these three, but these four buildings just here. They kind of cap off like the four pillars though, don't they? We could call it the four pillars shopping mall. Why don't we have anything al along here? That annoys me because... That actually annoys me. What have we got there? Is that... Can we get an A? I like that for me. And then you're in the wrong spot too. You are actually that. Nope. Nope. Can you not? <sighs> Clearly they can't utilize everything like that, so that's fine. Whatever. All right, and we've got our shopping precinct going on down here now as well. What have we got in here? Can we... Can't put anything in there. What we can do, though, is green spaces. So, now that we've got pretty much everything downtown plugged in, or not... I, I see, keep saying downtown, but... Now that we've pretty much got our shopping precinct here, it probably does need a bus stop too, actually. Um, get into it. We could go ahead and just slap a bus stop in. Can we do that now? We'll put one like here. Yep. And we'll actually take... Um, what is it? This, uh, we'll take the city flyer. Okay, City Flyer can actually come along and stop in at here, please. Um, I need the line tool. You need the line tool, Ham. Yeah, so we just go like this and I go, hey. Please stop in there for me. That's lovely. And we can, so we can come out of here and stop in and uh, do, uh, do some drop-offs for the tourists and shops. And look at that. I'll be honest. Who would have thought our car park would have worked brilliantly? Wobbly or not, it's working brilliantly. <laughs> okay, time to punch in a few trees and so forth. And I'm going to start with the oaky boys. Because why do I start with the oak ones? Because the oak, the oaks are quite um, big and they have a nice big fill area. So I like to fill in with the oaks first. Okay. Fill in with the oaks got some gaps up there too fill in with the oaks and then um tidy up with the smaller trees right because the oaks have a nice big coverage area oaks and we'll probably go with the spruces maybe some lindens or something as well uh let's go with the sprucey boys now and our shopping downtown shopping precinct should be pretty much um Looking lovely. Lovely. We could put some palm trees down the main central street here, yeah? Well, I mean, I could. I could. I tell you what. There's one way that I can do it. And I, I would have to use the move tool to move them all in. But basically, I could get some palm trees down in here. Right? You see, I can't feed them in. So what I'd have to do is put them in here. And then I would have to get my move tool. Ah, buddy. I'm trying to move things. And I would have to move them where I want them, like along the esplanade. And look, there's nothing to say we can't. I could even just do three to like a three to a thing like that. And you'd have to page that one down so the branches are in there. Right, there's nothing to say we can't put that in. 
and put them in uh, down there. And I think that looks quite good. So let me go ahead and, and punch these in now. And then I'll, uh, I'll bring you back once it's all done. And the palm trees are in. <laughs> the blink of an eye. The magic of film. Oh, look at that. The cows are floating. But that's okay. I don't really care. Because when you're looking from top down, I think that's exactly the look I was going for through here. Was this basically main parade shopping complex area. And you've got some like, you've got all these lovely shop fronts along here. A few trees that probably could go in down in here. Maybe even some park stuff. What do we got here? We've got a chestnut. Chestnuts are kind of nice and big, aren't they? They can fill up a nice sort of a nice sort of um, big area for us. But I do like the oaks. The oaks are really good for um, punching in and just like covering gaps. And same with the spruces. They're good at just sort of filling in after the oaks and just getting a nice, you know, you've got coverage all year round then. Um, and you've got some nice, you know, different greens and stuff. Also... This uh, London plane is beautiful. It's a great little, like, short filler as well. Punch some of those in. But obviously, the more trees you add in, the more fire hazard you've got. Uh, but love the green spaces because it just, it just gets things looking like they've been established for a few years. And that's kind of what I want. I want to have it look like things are established through here. We've got some lovely parklands going on. Uh, and that's basically our new downtown. Uh, really hammering along. This this apartment block here is absolutely ridiculous. I don't know if I'll keep that. I may lose it. And <laughs> in fact, it is. I can't. I can't handle that. We're not. I'm sorry. What are you? Your NA residential high. I'm gonna split you into two blocks. Um, because that was just ridiculous. That was too NA residential. That's going to be more acceptable. Um, are you, yeah, you've both got... You've got two blocks there. That's going to be more acceptable. Uh, this building here is even quite too high. EU residential high is quite a tall building for this whole area. I'm going to allow it for the moment. We've got another couple here that are going, all right, how are we doing down here? Look, we're doing really well in here. In terms of uh, money, we're heading in the right direction. However, healthcare is going to be an issue... I'm not going to be putting in the hospital anytime soon because we don't have the population um, to handle the cost of the of the of the hospital. If you think the hospital should go in, it's no it's no joke. It is it will literally take us from going eighty eight thousand an hour to probably more like negative twenty thousand an hour, if not more. Like it it, it is that big and full on, right? We don't have the population. We're only at twenty nine thousand. What I did want to do today is I really want to get it in. I really wanted to get in our um, train service, but we're going to do that next time out. Next episode, we're going to punch in, um, like I said, we're going to punch in this cargo station sitting probably about here, right? With a road connection, this road will punch right through here, so we'll have to grade all that out. And then basically we'll run the, the train line up and over, up into here. And basically, it'll serve as all our um, industrial needs here, which we're going to have to expand. We're going to have to expand our farms out this way too. Potentially, maybe even some farms up in here might look quite good. Um, we've got the port earmarked for down here. And once we get our industrial stuff working with trains and services outside, we can then get a port that works in conjunction with our cargo um, in the industrial area and out and about too. But this here, I'm feeling a heck of a lot better about in terms of um, our downtown and how this is looking, especially when we start incorporating a lot of sort of areas like this for um, uh, for shopping, for residential, you know, car, like these centralized areas that look like something that would be in your area near you. And I know there's a lot of places around me that have these like car parks right down the middle, shopping all around the outside and so forth. So anyway, gang, that's it from me today. Please take care. Stay safe wherever you are. I hope you've enjoyed that. We're, we're really, we are plugging along. We're going to get this done sooner rather than later. And we are going to get it looking really good, especially how we're going with the green spaces in and around it, making it look really sort of um, like, like it's been there for a while. And using the laneways really helps uh, with the plug and play of that sort of olden style look as well all right 
And these row homes look great. Just plugged in in amongst sort of these lower, uh, lower height. I want to say lower height, not lower res. They're medium res residential building. All right. Please stay safe wherever you are. Stay glued to the screen for plenty more. I'll be back with some more Ashburn Coast soon. Get out of here.